So she was using a missing frequency of the voice to choose a frequency of color to do healing. That's what we were discussing in this very song. Es lo que hace es encontrar esa frecuencia que te trata en la voz y debido a que tiene una correlación con un color te trata con ese color. And I just wanted to make one little comment about that, which I think will be instructive for others of our conversation this evening. Y me gustaría hacer un comentario sobre esto, puesto que será necesario para la conversación que tendremos esta tarde. If I remember Mary Soul when we did that in South Spain it was Mojaca I think. Creo que cuando hice esto con Marisol estábamos en Mojaca. She uh, she took that prism she uses and she went out into the Mediterranean sunlight and adjusted so the rainbow was showing into the eyes of the person being healed. Does that remember that right? Uh, lo que hacía era coger un prisma y uh, con el sol del Mediterráneo lo enfocaba a la cara de la persona a la que quería sanar. Now, I remember at the end of that conversation, if, if I recall, Mary Soul, you said, ah, but this that light, didn't you say that? Yeah. Yes, that's what I thought. Uh, y tuvieron una conversación en la que uh, Mary Soul le comentó a Dan Winter que esto solo funciona con luz natural, no con luz artificial. Now, there's something I'd like to understand about the principle of that. Why did you need to start with real sunlight? Because it's very instructive. Y me gustaría poder explicaros y entender el por qué es importante utilizar la luz solar. Recall the background. Mary Soul has taken an analysis of someone's voice here, and she's found that there was very narrow, narrow spectral dispersion, narrow a spread of harmonics here. Yes. In other words, the, the energy density of this person's voice was concentrated in a narrow area right here. Uh, si os podéis fijar en esto, lo que hace Marisol es coger un análisis de espectro de la voz y en, en este que veis aquí arriba de todo hay un, una banda muy fina de uh, desnivel. Now, the principle of all of healing actually is that harmonic inclusiveness heals and harmonic exclusiveness is disease. That's the point. In lo que es la salud o la enfermedad, podríamos decir que la inclusividad armónica, es decir, poder incluir mucha armonía, digamos, es lo que es la salud y menos inclusividad armónica lo traduciríamos como enfermedad. So you can see that this person has a problem because. This person is stuck with their voice talking at one frequency all the time and it's pretty boring and you can tell that they're very stuck. Entonces lo que podéis ver aquí en el análisis que está enseñando y como lo acaba de explicar es personas que utilizan la voz solo en una frecuencia, como hablando solo en una frecuencia. And we know from the heart literature in medicine that if your heart is rich in harmonics, you have an immune system. And if your heart has only one harmonic, you're dying. Y es lo mismo que sucede con el corazón por todo el análisis que voy a hacer Dan de, de esta materia, en el que si tienes muchas frecuencias que están sonando al unísono en el corazón, tienes salud, pero por el contrario, si tienes un corazón que emite muy poquitas frecuencias, estás enfermo. Medical doctors call that harmonic inclusive HRV, heart rate variability. Yeah? 
Los médicos llaman a esto el HRV, que es Heart Rate Variability, que es la variabilidad del ritmo del corazón. Uh, which is harmonically inclusive. Vale, que es una... que es armónicamente inclusivo. Is that harmonic inclusiveness... Now, the point I want to make, rich in harmonics, is the same as fractality. Uh, es lo mismo que decir que es fractal. And you need to know that in physics, the ability to have lots of harmonics in one place, namely fractal, is perfected by golden mean ratio. Y en física tener muchos armónicos en un mismo lugar, perfeccionados por uh, la proporción áurea, es lo que llamamos fractal. Yes, perfect compression, very fractal, uses golden mean. La compresión perfecta muy fractal utiliza siempre la proporción áurea. So it's, a, it's part of the theme we were talking about before, get fractal or get dead, if you recall. Mm -hmm. Y es de lo que hablábamos ayer, uh, volverse fractal o morir. So, Mary Soul then calculated a frequency this person needed in their voice, and she calculated the complement color to replace that missing frequency. That's what you did, Mary Soul. Uh, Yes, the same thing. But yes. So replace the missing frequency is the point. O sea que lo que hacen aquí básicamente es, si te falta una frecuencia con el color de ayuda en la constante frecuencia la vuelvas a tener. But you see, Mary Soul had to climb something on the order of what is it about 16 octaves between sound and light. No, no, no. 32. Yeah, about yes. Thank you. 32 octaves. A long climb up the ladder between sound and light. Entre el sonido y la luz hay 32 octavas. Now, if you had to go that many different octaves up the piano scale and keep accurate the timing. Si consideras hacer esto con un piano y 32 octavas hacia arriba y mantener el tiempo. It seems like only the sun can manage that. Parece como que el sol es el único que puede hacer eso. The point here is simple that you see the sunlight is based on the frequencies of hydrogen which is the musical fundamental of the solar system. You see? El sol está basado en las uh, frecuencias del hidrógeno.